BizTax Investor Conversation Show. Hongyang Bank Berhad is a regional financial services company based in Malaysia, but with also a presence in Singapore, Hong Kong, Vietnam, Cambodia, and China. Now, as part of its innovation DNA, it is actively involved in the tech ecosystem and a strong supporter of the Malaysian Business Angels Network, more well known as MBAP. Now, to give us some insights, we have Shailish Glover, the Chief Digital and Innovation Officer at Hong Leong Bank. Now, Shailish, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Now, Shailish, for a start, could you give us an overview of Hong Leong Bank's current initiatives in the innovation space? So, uh, you know, when you say initiatives in the innovation space, it, it's not that we do one thing or two things uh, and, and badge it innovation. Uh, you know, it's part of, as you said, it's part of our DNA. So we try and look at, in, across everything we do, how can we innovate in the interest of the customer? How can we create the right experience for the customer? across all touch points where the customers talk to us, right? And that's uh, the way we look at the customer life cycle. Uh, it's, you know, we, we broadly divided into four parts. So one is attract. Attract is where, you know, we create brand affinity, we create, uh, you know, uh, brand awareness, uh, and it's, uh, it's available or accessible to all customers and prospects, right? So that's how we create Anyone walking past, if they want a bank, you know, do we come, um, you know, at the top of their uh, their thought process when they're thinking about anything to do with banking? And this is not just for the consumer, but it's for the entire, uh, you know, customer continuum, whether it's a young adult, a child, or, you know, a parent opening something for the child, uh, a sole proprietor, an SME, a, you know, a medium, uh, large corporate. So the entire continuum of customers you know, uh, this life cycle applies for. The second stage of uh, the life cycle is acquire, which is where once you have a brand, uh, you know, uh, you, you like the brand and you make a choice to then, uh, you know, sign up for a service or an experience with us, how do we make sure that the journey to get you onboarded is as simple as, uh, you know, seamless uh, as possible? So then, you know, what are the right things to be done when it comes to innovation to make sure that all the things I just said, we can bring to life for the customer. Once they become our customer is where the third stage of the life cycle, uh, you know, which is uh, transact. So, you know, once you are a banking customer of any type, whether you have a mortgage with us, you have a current account, an FD, a savings, or, you know, a credit card, what have you, how do we make sure that we give you the right experience um, that will make uh, you happy with what you engage or interact with? And we are able to delight you as a customer. And the final bit is engage, right? Uh, which is where a lot of the, in addition to the three stages, the last stage is where we you know, see, are there other value partners where we can uh, engage and, you know, plug in to create excitement, to create this extra engagement, whether it's gamification, whether it's something else, to make sure that, their, you know, customers get a lot more than just, okay, I can see my balance. Yes, I can make a payment. Yes. We can do that, right? And I can do it digitally. That's also, you know, old stuff now. If you don't have a digital presence, you are in trouble anyways. So across that, and, and then the other bit is how do we do it? You know, it's all driven by, uh, you know, three main pillars that we, that we, you know, keep talking about again and again. One is uh, how do we make it customer centric, which is what I tried to explain. The other is, uh, you know, how do we uh, give our employees the right environment, which is where we have the customer experience lab, we have the innovation uh, community hub, which is where I am at the moment. It's called Jumpstart at 65. If anybody wants to find out, just do a Google. Um, that's where we do all the ethnographic research, qualitative research, usability, uh, you know, tests and things like that. And the final bit is uh, ecosystem partnership. Right? How do we how do we engage with the right value partners to then offer uh, banking plus? 
uh, to our customers where they can get a lot more from one uh, brand, which is Hong Kong Bank. Now, given these four key areas, you're very involved in the tech ecosystem in the region, um, and particularly in Malaysia, uh, not only with uh, the, 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 uh, the lights of, of uh, Malaysian Business Angels Network, but also the by holding hackathons, by partnerships, as you mentioned, Walk us through the, your journey as a bank in terms of being involved in the tech ecosystem and how this has benefited you in terms of your, your goals around uh, those four areas. So, uh, first of all, we, we do what we do because we strongly believe in it, right? Um, which is where, you know, working with the community, um, building the ecosystem in Malaysia and across the region, uh, and we do recognize the fact that we can't go about uh, doing everything we want to do uh, all by ourselves. There is a lot of stuff moving, and it's moving much faster than anyone can keep track of. So the best way to do it is to be engaged to, you know, while contributing to the ecosystem. Uh, it's a two-way thing. We learn a lot, and hopefully... Uh, we are able to share some of our learnings with the broader ecosystem that may want to uh, have a bank as a customer or a bank's customers as customers of theirs, right? So it's a two-way thing. Um, the other thing it's helped us a lot over the years is it has exposed a lot of our, um, our, our staff members to uh, uh, different ways of doing things, right? So we, as a bank, you know, we do things a certain way. And it's not a question of right or wrong. It is, you know, a way we do it and it works for us and it's perfect. But then if you want to move faster, if you want to look at other things, how do we keep tabs on uh, what some of the other technologies are out there? All the big things we all hear about, right? These days, the fashionable thing to talk about is AI and generative AI and stuff, LLM and all those stuff, right? Those things everybody can get access to and everyone's talking about those as the dinner tables and you know uh, whatever uh, social setup that they have. But then there are there are certain nuances where you learn a lot uh, if you are in... I mean, yesterday I was uh, at um, the Startup World Cup and I was amazed, impressed um, to see two young kids that came up with wireless charging for satellites in space. Now, if you just sit in your little bubble, you would never get exposed to those kind of cool things that are happening in the environment, in the ecosystem, in Malaysia, out of all places, right? So that's, that's a big part of why we do what we do, to learn, to engage, to get exposure, uh, and frankly, to share. Now, Silish, you as part of your engagement with the ecosystem, you've had a strong partnership with the Malaysian Business Angels Network since 2016. What has the journey been like? And tell us also then about the that Hong Leong Launchpad program that you've uh, co-developed together. So it's been a it's been a very rewarding journey, uh, to be honest. Um, uh, I'm sure when we started. We were clueless on what this might end up uh, being. So it was a leap of faith. Uh, but I think it's fair to say that the relationship has been great. They have been a great partner. Um, and we do uh, you know, things on a monthly basis you know, through our uh, pitching session that's, uh, that's run by MBAN. Uh, where, and it's got, it's got nothing to do. Well, nothing to do is probably unfair to say. But... It is not restricted to or limited to banking, you know. Uh, so we learn a lot. There's a lot of stuff we are doing around ESG, sustainability, things like that. And there are plenty of green uh, initiative startups that come to uh, the monthly pitching sessions, which is a delight. And in many instances, for example, we partnered with some of them to um, to to create additional value above and beyond, not just for the bank, but for for SMEs and for others, right? Um, in addition to that, uh, over the years, obviously, as we learned more, as they learned more, the partnership has matured into how can we do things, uh, you know, which are much more meaningful, much more uh, value creating, and much more focused, other than the pitching pitchings that that happen on a regular basis. So, from that point of view, it's been very, very good. 
there have been, um, if I'm not wrong, uh, double digit entities that have come from the Launchpad program, uh, which is our accelerator in partnership with MBAN, uh, with whom we are actually working, actively working. Some of those uh, propositions are only live. The most recent one was Paywatch, for example. That's the employee salary advance uh, you know, thing, which if I'm not wrong, we are the only ones that offer in, in the country. Um, but all, all these things are, are a function of uh, you know, uh, HLB Launchpad, which is what you pointed out, is the partnership we have with MBAN. Now, talk to us also about this interesting initiative which you have right now. So the government has had the Angel Tax Incentive Scheme uh, uh, in the past, which has now been extended to corporations as well. Give us your opinion of that. And are you as a, an organization involved in making corporate investments into startups? So um, the bank per se does not directly do that, to be, to be very candid. But there are other uh, um, uh, you know, uh, entities within the group, Hong Leong group, that actively look at those kind of things. And they obviously, you know, um, all the, uh, the government, uh, you know, schemes that are out there, they are aware of those and they keep tabs on those things uh, to make sure we're doing it the right way. And, you know, obviously the benefits are, are in play. Now, when it comes to the bank, it's less about are we doing what you asked um, for the sake of doing it's more about if there is a partner, like I said, you know, I mentioned in my previous comment, there are 20 of these that we identified uh, roughly uh, whom we are working with actively. So it's less about just, you know, putting money on the table and saying, go, 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 go have a, a shot at it. It's more about working together to um, evolve what they have to something our customers can benefit or to something that the bank can benefit or something that the employees can benefit depending on what the value proposition is. And Shailesh, this is really symptomatic of how the whole fintech industry has evolved, isn't it? Because initially, all these new fintech players were seen as competitors for the bank. But how this has really evolved is, is, is cooperation with existing legacy banks and financial institutions in order to accelerate digitization for and improve customer service and value to customers. You know, when you're young, uh, you, you, you say a lot of things uh, and you say, I'm going to disrupt this, I'm going to break, you know, this and I'm going to, you know, um, uh, eat into. It's very easy to do that when you're starting off. Um, and I, I'm not saying this because I'm in a bank. I'm not a banker. I just happen to work for one. Uh, I'm a fan of startups. I did three startups in Silicon Valley uh, way back when. So, you know, I'm coming from a very different vantage point. But, you know, when, when I was in a startup in, in the Valley, it was very easy to go, uh, you know, and say, oh, we will do this and we will, you know, do that and we will kill that business and we will, you know, break their back. All that stuff is fine. It's exciting. It keeps you motivated. It's but very quickly, as you mature, you realize that you have to coexist. You have to work together. Um, and uh, it's, a, it's a part of growing on both sides, right? Uh, so that's how I would put it. Uh, that's what happened in the US. That's what happened in the UK where I was prior to this. And that's exactly how things are evolving in this part of the world as well. Um, it works a lot better for both entities. Uh, to work together in the interest of uh, the customer. Otherwise, you'll keep fighting an uphill battle, uh, and it's not easy. Um, yes, there might be one or two where you can cite, and you know those guys might be successful, but generally, it's very, very tough. Shailesh, looking ahead, 2024 is just around the corner. Um, what, what are Hong Leong Bank's uh, plans uh, for, the, for engaging the tech ecosystem? So I don't think we will we will slow down. Um, I think that's a given. Uh, in fact, we will we will accelerate and uh, go on uh, you know hyperdrive to make sure that we are doing a lot more for the reasons I mentioned uh, you know at the start of our session. Uh, and we need to run a lot faster to make sure that we are able to benefit from or derive benefit from some of the emerging technologies, the most recent one, like I said, uh, generative AI and, and some other things that are popping up because there's, you know, the potential is, is immense. 
the promise is immense. Uh, the challenge is how do you make sure when you are in a bank and you're dealing with people's money, how do you make sure you don't um, you know, um, introduce anything that creates additional risk? So we have to make sure that we are doing it within um, the confines of or within the right bounds to create value and uh, while keeping everything secure. Uh, on that note, thank you very much for Silish for taking your time to be on the show. But before we leave, is there any final thoughts you'd like to leave the audience with? Um, I think the the one thing I would say is it's a journey. So anyone that wants to get on uh, onto this thing, you can't flip the switch and you know uh, assume that things will change overnight. It's a long journey. You have to have a leap of faith. You have to have. Uh, persistence, some patience, and then results start to come up. So uh, if you want to get onto it, or if you're already in it, uh, but you feel a little frustrated or, or, or you feel that it's not you know, giving you anything, uh, I would say don't lose heart. There is a lot uh, that comes, but it's a long-term game. So you know, stay in it for the long term. Thank Guys, you. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much for taking your time to be at the show. Thank you, Brian. Now, we've been speaking to Silish Grover. He's the Chief Digital and Innovation Officer at Hong Leong Bank. I'm Brian Fernandez, and you've been watching and listening to BizTech's Investor Conversation Show. This interview will be on our website, www.biztech.asia, as well as our social media platforms. It'll also be on our syndication partners, TV stations, radio stations, and websites. Thanks a lot for tuning in.